So, as of now, I have pretty much shared everything that I have figured out so far in Unreal 5, which was a good 20 videos of information that I'm really glad to get off my chest and document it here for everyone on YouTube, and I still have a lot to learn, and I will continue to practice and figure out new things. But in the meanwhile, while I am figuring stuff out, I would like to talk about some changes that I'll be making on this channel, and why I'm excited about the future both as a game developer and a content creator. Long story short, my channel has always been about bringing solutions to people who needed them fast because for a long time, a lot of software has been extremely confusing to learn, and in many cases, unintuitive to figure out. But a lot of that is changing now. Software is being simplified, unintuitive tools are being phased out, and every aspect of development now has accessible, affordable, and in many cases, free tools that everyone can find and learn easily. Over the holidays, I was playing some Armored Core with some fellow game dev buddies, and we had a great conversation about the differences between being an indie dev back in the day versus now. And it occurred to us that there has never in the history of technology ever been a better time to be any kind of creator than now. Like when we were starting this journey maybe 15 years ago, as far as 3D software goes, when the PlayStation 1 had the best graphics in the world, we didn't have any subdivision modifiers. There was no sculpting. There was no non-destructive workflow. We literally had to model one vertice at a time. And when the model was done, there was no substance painter, no procedural texturing. If you were lucky, you would texture in GIMP, and if you were rich, you textured in Photoshop. And don't even get me started on how rigging used to be without smooth paint options. And if you managed to get through that into the animation process, one of the most popular engines, Game Maker, would probably lag if you had two or three characters on the screen. But if I was to start my whole journey over again now, with only the free software we had available today, holy shit, man, it would be a completely different ball game. Now you have ChatGPT to help you organize and plan the development of your game. We have text to image to get all the concept art you could ever need, text and video to animation for your characters, text to audio and music for sound effects, generated voices if you can't avoid voice actors, and two of the best engines known to man with Unreal and Unity, all available for free, with asset stores with plenty of incredible free assets that you can use in your game immediately if you're not a 3D artist yourself. And when it comes to publishing, you can create free accounts on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and build a following and a community for all the marketing you could ever want all by yourself and millions of tutorials, forums, and Discord communities of information available for anyone willing to learn how to put it all together. Like, holy f I still remember texturing my 3D models with MS Paint in between classes in high school. And now you literally just ask for a procedurally generated texture map and it's there before lunch break is over. Like you could not ask for better tools as a creator right now. If you've ever wanted to make anything in your life with your spare time, I'm telling you, today's the day. And with all these changes happening, especially over the course of the last two or three years, over Thanksgiving holidays, I had a rare moment to take a step back and really think about the future, what's going on, and how I should best prepare for it. So here are my thoughts. It's very clear to me that we are moving from the age of figuring out how to do things to figuring out what to do. Before, as a creator, you would spend 70% of your time figuring out where the buttons you need to click are or what software you should download. But very soon, you won't have to figure out how to 3D model. You'll just need to know what you want to 3D model. You won't need to learn how to paint bricks on a texture map. You'll just tell the computer to make a brick texture map. And even though it's still a ways off, eventually this is gonna come to programming as well. You won't have to figure out how to code a blueprint of a missile exploding. You'll just tell the computer to create a missile exploding blueprint and then press the play button and test the game five seconds later. This is the direction that we are headed towards in the future. And even though 20 years of my experience and expertise is in how to do these old fashioned things like low poly modeling one vertice at a time, I'm really glad that we have better tools available to do everything I know how to do faster today. And I cannot wait to see this future arrive and see what people create with these new tools. That being said, it's pretty clear to me that in the near future, a tutorial channel like this one is going to be less and less relevant as software tools become more intuitive and more self-explanatory. 
And while I think that's a good thing for the world, as far as my channel goes, specializing in short tips and tricks tutorial videos seems like an obvious dead end if we forecast two or three years into the future. So we are going to start making some course changes here on the channel. I will still be learning new software as better techniques and tools get introduced. I don't think that's ever going to change. And of course, I will still share what I learn here on the channel, but we are going to start to cover the more high level problems like how to structure and plan a project, how to draft and execute a short cutscene, what kind of art styles and techniques would best fit your themes and needs. Once we've completed the project, how should we start to market it? These are the types of questions that are going to become more important for creators in the future. So that's what we're going to start focusing on from this point onward. I'm also going to start sharing and uploading projects and art pieces that I'm working on as we learn together and help each other out. Up to this point, I really haven't shared too much of the 3D art that I've created and worked on in the background because it's not really related to the tutorials. But since we'll be in a more abstract direction going forward, I think the best way to learn is through example. And so while we tackle higher level problems, I will share how I apply my own advice and solutions in my own work with you guys. But we'll talk more about that in a later video. Regardless, I have never been more excited about the future than I am now, and the idea of sharing that experience of building a world in your head and then finding Finally seeing it start to come to life on your computer screen is truly amazing and I cannot wait to see what cool ideas you guys end up creating on Discord. Every time I check the daily progress area or the finished works on our Discord, I am always blown away by how much creativity is in this community. And I feel lucky to be able to witness and be a part of it. So let's see what the future has for us. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.